Although the 20-year cycle attached to the August 12th biorhythm has coincided with monumental events influencing space-time, the yearly biorhythm that occurs every August has featured significant manifestations of synchronicity in its own right. Although much attention has been focused on the date of August 12th itself, the actual biorhythm has corresponded with significant events occurring in a range that extends from August 10th through the 14th, August 12th being precisely in the middle. For example, Dr. David Anderson walked into my life on August 11th, 1999, a date astrologers had been watching with keen interest because it coincided with a full solar eclipse as well as a grand cross in the heavens. To astrologers, this celestial alignment heralds major changes as old authority figures wane, becoming outmoded and powerless. The eclipse of August 11, 1999 also prompted worldwide attention with regard to my previous writing. This focus on my past work was generated from astrologers, dowsers, and geomancers who noted that the path of the full eclipse was to pass through Menentol at Land's End in Cornwall, England. Menentol was featured in my second book, Montauk Revisited, Adventures in Synchronicity, which revealed that Aleister Crowley had conducted a ritual on August 12, 1943, the same day as the Philadelphia Experiment. During this ritual, Crowley purposely focused on Montauk Point, New York, directing a line of rough water in that direction, running parallel to an undersea telephone cable. While geomancers and the like were focusing on Menentol and other points along the eclipse line, I was being paid a visit by a very unique man with an even more unique destiny to jumpstart mankind's consciousness with regard to understanding the nature of space-time, and more particularly with the technology of time travel itself. So it is that pursuit of the legends and mythology of Montauk, but more importantly, the occult threads behind them, had led me to the acme of scientific truth. Even more important, I was on the threshold of a major adventure. Before I share that adventure, however, I would like to add some perspective. Simultaneous to the Philadelphia experiment, Aleister Crowley was directing occult intent to Montauk Point, land that is sacred ground to the Montauk pharaohs, and which would later be used to create and manipulate fluctuations of space-time as well as a menagerie of accompanying phenomena that the world has still not recovered from. Fifty-six years later, on August 11, 1999, a natural alignment of the Sun, Moon, and Earth was occurring simultaneous to my meeting with a man who would present great hope for the future, if not an imminent solution to the problems of the past. Ten years later, my adventures with Dr. Anderson would lead me to a very special location in the heart of sacred Transylvania. Although it was not specifically intended to work out in such a manner, events, circumstances, and my travel itinerary would lead to my arrival there on the date of August 11th, 2009. Ten years to the day I had first met Dr. Anderson. These adventures, along with the incredible new experiences of Radu Shinamar, were shared in the book Transylvanian Moonrise. The theme of synchronicity surrounding the August biorhythm, however, was to continue, resulting in further revelations surrounding the mystery of time. Thank you.